yesterday it was terrible so it's my duty pardon the landscaping sounds outside it is my duty to warn you about it I um, saw this in Ulta and was curious about it so I purchased it thinking it would be good and boy was I ever wrong it is the Neutrogena eye makeup remover lotion this is terrible. Um, so I bought it thinking that it would be a nice uh, cream cleanser to remove my mascara and water resistant sunscreen just to try it. You know, I figured I would get questions about this. I figured I'd be asked about it. I, I'd never seen it before. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be, I thought it would be easy sailing. This burns and stings like none other. It, it's supposed to, it's intended to be used around the eyes, obviously, to remove mascara and whatnot, and it, it burns like the Dickens there. And on the face, it really burns and it's irritating. It, while it's labeled as an eye makeup remover lotion, the instructions say, um, it tells you dispense onto fingertips or onto cotton ball and gently massage over closed eyes, which I did, and it still, it burned my eyelids, so that was a problem. And it says, can also be used on the face for makeup removal. Tissue off product for maximum hydration. Yeah, uh, skip this. Very irritating. And, and I think it's the propylene glycol in this. Uh, just makes it very irritating. Not to mention, this kind of thing is very drying on the eyelashes and can lead to a lash breakage. Um, so I don't recommend this. Honestly, the oil-based cleansers. At J Japan is is where it's at like um but another another cleanser or makeup remover since i'm on this makeup remover tangent that i do really like although the packaging is awkward is carolyn hiron's pixie double cleanse that one's really good um i i recommend that uh but uh that's a uk brand but you can get it on iherb and i think you can get it at target honestly but yeah that is a little product warning this is a neutrogena eye makeup remover lotion who it was terrible and oh, let me tell you about a beverage I have been loving. So good. Um, this is the Pure Rose, something I've been doing with the Pure Rose Nectar. Um, I brew up the night before two tea bags worth of the Saint Delphois. <laughs> Gosh, sorry, they're, they're landscaping outside, so ignore the chainsaw. No, I'm not, I'm not in a haunted house. The strawberry tea that I got on iHerb, oh my gosh, it's really good. It tastes like strawberry preserves. It doesn't taste like fake strawberry whatsoever. So I brew up two bags of this the night before, um, let it come to room temperature. I brew it up in this little glass mason jar. Uh, let it come to room temperature. I dissolve a stevia packet in it to sweeten it, and then I just store it in the fridge overnight to chill. And then in the morning, I dump it on over ice and pour, put in a teaspoon of the pure rose nectar. Oh, it is, it's really delicious. Yeah, this is, this was a win, the strawberry Ceylon tea um, from St. Delphoir. I want to try their preserves, their jams. But uh, the thing that is awesome about these, curb my enthusiasm, is the, the bags don't uh, have a staple on the little string. They cleverly weave the string into the bag and then you pull out a little tab. It's so cool, I, I totally love it. I don't, I think, I don't wanna sacrifice a tea bag to show you guys, but 
Well, you can see here on the illustration, it's really, it's really ingenious. So you don't have that pesky little staple, just one little thing, one little, one less thing to, to cope with. But yeah, it's really good with the pure rose nectar. So I'm getting my antioxidants in. Well, hey guys, what's up? It is the end of the day and I am going out to have my eyeballs examined. It is that time of the year where I get my contact lens prescription updated and whatnot. So fingers crossed that my eyeglass prescription has not changed because I just got those new Warby Parker eyegla eyeglasses and it'll be just my luck that my, my eyeglass prescription <laughs> will suddenly change. It's really important though um, to to make sure you get your, your eyes checked. It's kind of a nuisance, obviously. Like I always sort of, particularly, you know, in my younger days, I always resented that you have to go every year and have your prescription renewed. But it's actually really important, you know. Um, subtle changes in your vision can really compromise how I mean, obviously, how well you see. <laughs> um, but, you're, you know, you're not going to be aware of it. For example, when I... I wasn't born nearsighted. I developed that in college. And I was in total denial that I was... My vision was going. I remember I used to sit in class and I would get so annoyed with the instructor... Like, why don't they make the fonts on their PowerPoint slides bigger? How are we supposed to see that? And my classmates would look at me like I was losing my mind. I was in total denial. Um, and then I went and got my eyes checked, and they were like, Ma'am, you are, you are nearsighted. You need contact lenses. And probably, uh, I don't know, eight years after I started wearing contact lenses, I, I needed an upgrade in my prescription, so I got a little slightly blinder, if you will, slightly more nearsighted. Uh, but yeah, uh, I know they have all of these funky like apps and whatnot where you can scan your eyeball, I think, and send it in. And I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable with that. I feel as though like in this day and age with all this technology and whatnot, nothing can replace uh, seeing your provider, whether it be your dentist or your ophthalmologist, your optometrist, your primary care uh, doctor or um, health care provider. Uh, nothing can replace that in-person visit and it's really important to establish a relationship. green so you gotta push in as much as you can to it so I'm here in Costco to do my grocery shopping but good news my contact lens prescription did not change nor did my eyeglass prescription obviously so my vision is the same <clears throat> but my eyes always water with those vision tests like where they puff the air in your eye and this makes my eyes water so that's why I look like that's why I look like I've just gone through a dust cloud or something but um, anyways, I was going to share with you guys, my optometrist, I was pointing out to her that I wear the dailies. I have to wear the dailies, ever since, daily contact lenses. Ever since I moved to Houston, the allergies <clears throat> here just, I can't tolerate non-daily contact lenses. And even the dailies have been giving me problems where they like flip out of my eye. And I normally wear AccuView Oasis dailies. She said that. Um, those are thinner and so they don't hold on to moisture as well and they will dry out more readily and pop out and she recommended actually the Kirkland brand of <clears throat> contact lenses she said is like the top performing contact lens right now and she said I don't know if you guys are familiar with what, what Costco does but basically they will go in and they'll like say a certain brand and they'll put their label on it and the Kirkland label, 
contact lenses. They're sa exact same contact lenses as the brand My Day. So if you wear My Day contact lenses, uh, consider consider the Kirkland Signature versions. But anyways, she said that those 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 are thicker, and she gave me um, some pairs to try out. So that's what I'm wearing now, and they are a lot more comfortable. So I might end up switching to the Kirkland Signature contact lenses. <laughs> Whoa, how cool is this Cuisinart waffle maker? You can pour the batter in the top. That is so handy. I love it. I'm tempted to buy one even though I never ever make waffles. Yeah, I um, I watched that mommy vlogger, Liza Adele, and she always buys her little boy these little frozen waffles. And I always think to myself, oh, I should get some frozen waffles sometime. Because I actually, oddly enough, really like them. And I'm strange. I prefer, I prefer the frozen waffles to like the homemade ones, like the homemade Belgian waffles. I just like them better. I love the Kashi ones. I think the Kashi ones are vegan. Um, I'll have to check. I haven't had frozen waffles since going vegan, but um, that reminded me that every time I watch her vlogs and she says, "Oh, I get these little waffles for Cam," I'm like, "Oh, I should get those. They look good." <laughs> Wow, aren't these nice? The PrepWorks 4-Piece Pro Keeper Produce Keepers. You can... Oh, do they have... Shows you that you can... I wonder if they have a straining bottom so that you can clean your produce in the container. These are really nice. It has an airflow vent, too. $25 for four. It doesn't look like it hold enough, though. I mean... It'd be good for like berries and stuff, but it doesn't look like it would hold enough of my Costco produce for it to be worth it. Whoa, Nutribullet has a Bluetooth enabled blender. Are you kidding me? How precious is this blender gonna get? I can't imagine why that would be useful. Oh, I guess you can store your smoothie recipes in it or tell it to make one for you. This is, this is odd. I still use my Ninja. I've had my Ninja. My little Ninja, it's a Ninja Pro. Um, I use it every day. I use it to make a smoothie for breakfast. That's what I had this morning. Um, I've really been into that lately. And yeah, I've had my Nutribullet for, not Nutribullet, I had Nutribullet a long time ago. And it was fine, but I didn't like the way the blades went on, that particular model I had. And it got kind of nasty and it was difficult to clean. The Ninja is a lot easier to clean. I've had it for going on four years now, I want to say, and it's it's really been good. But I always get tempted with the Vitamix Blendtec um, ones that I see that I see on the uh, interwebs. But I don't do a lot of like blending other than what I do in my my Ninja. So I don't know that I need it. Plus the the counter space, oh, the, the Explorian. It's one of those things where you're like, oh, I wish I had one from time to time, but for the most part, it would be annoying to deal with that on the counter. Speaking of Kirkland Signature label, this organic kombu kombucha, kombucha ginger lemonade, I bet you, is the same exact thing as uh, Synergy's, uh, I bet you, or some other some other comparable brand it's probably identical they just they just put their label on things uh, I don't know exactly how it works like I think they buy buy it and sell it at slightly reduced value with their a slightly reduced price with their label but yeah it's always good quality same holds true with uh, with their wines like uh, if you like Chateau Saint-Michel uh, wine from uh, from Washington it's Washington State Kirkland Signature wine same thing so update on the PB2 powdered almond butter that I got several, several Costco vlogs ago. I have a little bit left. It's okay. It's a nice protein powder. I'll say that. It has like a subtle almond taste, but it is, it's underwhelming. I think uh, the PB2, the peanut, the peanut butter powder has a much stronger peanut taste than this does an almond butter taste. So, I don't know that I would repurchase it, but it was pretty good. I guess it does, it does taste like almond butter. It's just kind of very, very muted. 
yeah, the taste gets muted somehow in, in the pulverization drying. Whereas the peanut flavor kind of stays preserved. All right, so from Costco this week, I got a, another uh, bag of four packs of frozen organic rice cauliflower. And I also have really been loving the Kirkland organic whole green beans frozen. I, um, th these are really tasty. I have not tried preparing them in the air fryer though. I understand you could do that with at least fresh green beans. I'd like to give that a try sometime. Let me put this in the freezer and I'll show you guys everything else that I got. But outside of the frozen veggies I just showed you guys, I really didn't get much at Costco this week. I have to say they have been kind of slacking on their stock. I don't know if it's a transition period or what. So of course I went ahead and got the Boscovich spinach that I normally get. I had a moment though of consideration of getting some romaine heads, but then I, I just defaulted to my usual. And I got two bags of the organic uh, Brussels sprouts. Still really loving these in the air fryer. Um, sad news though, um, there's no, there are no Volupta beet, beet chips at Costco anymore, which makes me sad. Um, but not only are there no, no more Volupta beet chips, but there are also no more, um, no more of those, uh, dried mushrooms that I really enjoy. So hopefully they'll get something back in stock. Moving along to Kroger, I got a head of green cabbage. Really been into cabbage soups lately in my in my Kosari slow cooker. And I also love having these on hand and I am currently out of them. The no salt added diced peeled tomatoes and juice from Crohair. I got three cans of those. I had a coupon and they were on sale. So I think I love to just have some of this with the cabbage in the slow cooker. It tastes, I love that combination of tomato and cabbage. I of course got two yellow onions and a head of garlic. And then I got two um, things of cauliflower. I also got more chayote squash. And I almost thought they were out of turnips this week, but they had moved them to another bin. And I was gonna say, what is going on with the produce? So I got turnips and then I got radishes as usual. I got four bags this time. Still adoring those in my air fryer. And I still have a large bag of the Kirkland triple berry blend of uh, berries in my freezer. So I haven't been buying that much fresh fruit, uh, but I have really been enjoying these little passion fruits that I get at Kroger in my smoothies in the morning. I love having one of the, uh, one or two of these in the smoothie with some vanilla protein powder and a teaspoon of the pure rose nectar. It's a passion fruit rose smoothie, very good. It's also good with some um, orange slices thrown in, but I forgot to get more oranges. I've never had these, um, they're called uh, pepino melons. I've never had these before, so I thought I would give them a try because uh, A, I have not had them. I like melons and that was my ice maker. Um, and they look pretty. Anything that's purple and white, I'm, I don't know, I'm really, I'm really jiving on that. <laughs> Um, and then from Kroger, I got my Dentec uh, Easy Brush flossy things that I love. I saw Oral-B came out with a version of these that looks like it'd be good, but they were quite a bit more expensive. They were quite, they were more expensive. And then I defaulted to the uh, Kroger brand Wax Dental Floss. I know you guys are a fan of that, pro, the Glide Dental Floss, but I find that that one... Uh, breaks more easily than than this. Uh, just the way my teeth are spaced, I find that that one, that one just it's it's super gentle, but it does it breaks. It breaks and frays. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, I'm about out of Bastello, and I've really been enjoying it. Right there, I'm almost out of it. But I saw that Bustello has this cute tin, so I got that as my my next in line. And these are the hair bands that I wear in the morning you guys always ask me about. I link them down below, but they're the Goody Ouchless and they had them at Kroger, so I got some more of them. Um, they, these are the best. They stay in place, they don't, they're not too tight, they're not too loose, they don't pop off, and they're not too thick. <laughs> they're just right. They're not too wide, they're not too narrow. <laughs> they're perfect, they're, they're perfect, at least for my head shape and um, my hair texture and that kind of thing. 
I didn't get a new candle this week. I have been enjoying Fraser Fur though from Tuscany. It was a good one. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Kroger and Costco this week. I had a good eyeball checkup. <laughs> um, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And so yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.